While Israel is becoming a pariah state due to its brutal invasion of Gaza that has resulted in the death of over 43,000 people, mostly women and children, since October last year. The Jerusalem Post has published a rather optimistic opinion piece about the growing recognition of the Zionist state in the Muslim world. According to article penned by Harry Richard, figures like incorporated former Premier Imran Khan can play a central role in changing both public opinion and military policy in Pakistan towards Israel. Title Redrawing Israel's Geopolitical Map on Abraham Accords Anniversary It contended that Pakistan has maintained a policy position that was pro-Palestinian for a long time, but recent years have seen an occasional sign of its desire to improve relations with Israel. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan, despite his strong rhetoric against Israeli policies, hinted at Pakistan needing to forge its own foreign policy path. This was particularly pertinent at a time when the rest of the Muslim world began to normalize ties with Israel on the basis of self-interest, it said. Referring to the PTA's phenomenal performance in the February general elections, it said the influence of Imran Khan or perhaps the emergence of another like-minded and equally pragmatic leader could bring opportunities for re-evaluating the extent to which Pakistan can afford to reconsider its historic hostility toward Israel, particularly in the face of its ongoing deep economic crisis. Enumerating the benefits Pakistan might have in the areas of economy, technology, agriculture, cybersecurity, and defense, in case it normalizes ties with Israel about euphemism for Pakistan does not recognize Israel. The writer highlighted how trade between Israel and the UAE jumped 124% to $2.59 billion year-on-year alone in 2022. According to the writer, a more diversified foreign policy on Pakistan's part could also bring with it strategic benefits as it navigates its own complex relationships with both India and Afghanistan.